Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to change the look of LaunchBox. Now, we introduced LaunchBox themes a while ago, and it's been a while since I've done a tutorial video, and we've got a lot of new themes over on the forum that some users and developers have created. Now, I do wanna mention before we get started here that this is a premium feature. Changing the theme of LaunchBox does require a premium license, but uh, to tell you the truth, I spend a lot of time inside of LaunchBox versus Big Box. Now, on my main arcade machine, Big Box is always running, but on my PC, when I want to play a game, or I just want to mess around, I usually just start up LaunchBox and play from there. So I really do love having the option of changing the LaunchBox theme. So right now, I'm on the default theme, I've got a blurred background going, it looks pretty good, but we can always change it up to make it look something like this. Now, as you can see, I mean, it's changed the whole look of LaunchBox, and personally, I'm a huge fan of this theme here. This is by Mr. Retro Lust, and this is known as the LaunchBox Neon Deluxe Arcade theme. Or you could go with something like this. This is known as Default K by Caroline over on the forum. We also have Nosh on this by Nosh and Neptune by Farron. Now there's actually a lot to choose from over on the forum, and if you're interested in getting your LaunchBox to look something like you just saw, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, obviously we need to download some new themes. Link to the forum is in the description. We're gonna head over to the download section and find the LaunchBox custom themes. From here, we can scroll through and see the themes that are available right now and more are always added. I'm just gonna download a few of these like Lambda Beta from Shadowfire. Just head right over here, download this file. And in some of these, you actually might see a few different versions. I would personally just go with the latest version. This is 1.1.2 as of making this video. You can just download it here. Now, another thing to look out for while downloading these LaunchBox themes are included fonts. So if we go down here to Nosh on this twice by Nosh, we're going to choose download this file. And you'll see he's also included a fonts zip file. We do want to download this if we want to get that correct font like he shows in the screenshots here. So for this, we're going to download the theme itself. We're also going to download the fonts. So now that we have a few themes downloaded, let's head over to our downloads folder. And here they are. They're all going to come zip. Now what we need to do is extract these themes and place them in the correct location. So for me, I have my LaunchBox installed on a separate drive. I'm just going to snap it to the left hand side. This is on my D drive, LaunchBox, and here's my LaunchBox installation directory. What we want to look for in here is our LB themes. We're going to go in here. And right now, I just have the default theme. So we're going to add some new ones. Let's head back over to our downloads folder, and we're going to extract a few of these. So I'll go with Nosh on this twice. I personally use WinRAR. I'm also going to extract Neon Deluxe Arcade. And we'll do Neptune. And remember, Nosh on this twice required those fonts, so we're also going to extract this and just install it. That way we have the correct fonts for that theme. We can just go ahead and install these like normal. Now we have those fonts installed, so it's going to show up correctly in Nosh on this twice. We're going to go into this folder, and I'm going to grab the Nosh on this twice folder. We're just going to place it right in here in our LB themes folder. Same thing with Neon Deluxe Arcade. And finally, Neptune by Farron. We'll just place them right in there. And now those LaunchBox themes are in the correct location, so we can go ahead and start up LaunchBox again. And from within LaunchBox, we're going to head up to these three little lines. We're going to go to Tools, Options. And from the Options menu, we want to scroll down until we find Main Window Theme. My theme is set to Default. But if I use the drop down, the new themes we just transferred over to that LB themes folder are located here. So let's go with Nosh on this twice. I'm just going to choose it, choose OK. We do have to restart LaunchBox in order to enable these themes, so we'll choose OK. It's going to shut down LaunchBox for me. So there we have it. We've changed our LaunchBox theme to Nosh on this twice. Really love the look of this. And again, when you download these themes, just look out for those fonts folders. And actually, some of these themes have different color variations. So there might be an option for a blue version, a green version, or even a magenta version. But there are a lot to choose from over on the LaunchBox forum right now. We're going to change it one more time. So from the drop down, we're going to go to Tools, Options, Main Window Theme. And I'm going to go back to Neon Deluxe Arcade. This is one of my favorites. We'll choose OK. 
it'll have to restart. And that's it. As you can see, it's super easy to change your LaunchBox theme, and I just think it adds a whole new dimension to just using LaunchBox. Now, if you're just in the big box, we have tons of themes over there, and we've done a lot of videos. But like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I do spend a lot of time in LaunchBox itself, so it's really nice to be able to change this look. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Link to the LaunchBox form we can download more LaunchBox themes is in the description. And like always, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.